Hello everyone, CJ here. Let's kick things off with a little celebration. 5,000 subscribers! Woohoo! Yes! Thank you everyone. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and thanks for loving gaming and D&D. It's a belated celebration, but I'm still in the mood for it. I can't seem to express enough gratitude to all those who clicked on the subscribe button. For those who would like to congratulate me, I hope that you would be gracious enough to extend the congratulations to those who have started playing after watching the How to Play Dungeons and Dragons series. Bravo! Bravo to all of you! Starting to play D&D, even as a player, can be pretty daunting. You are not sure what to do, you are not aware of the group dynamic, you haven't even got a player's handbook. It just seems so hard. Well, everybody started out that way. Even I did. I remember that for the first couple of sessions that I joined, I hardly even said more than a few sentences. That's fine. That happens to most new players. Whenever a new player joins my group, they are usually pretty quiet for the first few sessions. If they are a shy person, that might just be their personality. I would prompt them sometimes, but the player shouldn't be forced to behave a certain way. Even if the new players are veteran players, it is still difficult for them to join a game and immediately gel with a the gang. They don't know the campaign setting, the other players' group history, interpersonal dynamics, and so on. If you start your game with a group of new players, you might have an easier time dealing with your anxieties. But you wouldn't have experienced players guiding you. There is virtually no perfect condition to start a game. Which means, it doesn't make a difference when you should start a game. So, why not start now? Join a game in your local gaming or comic book store, or go online and search Facebook or meetup.com for a local gaming group. If you live where there aren't any gaming groups around, then you can try playing online, using virtual tabletop apps like Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds. There are lots of options for you to start playing. All Dungeon Masters started out as beginners themselves. Many have taught the game to complete beginners, so just politely tell them that you are a beginner and ask to join their game. If they can't have you because they have too many players or for other reasons, which can happen, just ask another one. There are more willing players out there than there are Dungeon Masters. But if you look, there is always another Dungeon Master out there who is willing to invite you to their table. For those of you who wants to be a Dungeon Master, I strongly suggest playing the game first. But I know that some of you may not live anywhere near a gaming group, or you may have poor internet. So if you are brave enough to start a game without having played much, then I have a few advice for you. Actually, this advice applies for all Dungeon Masters. Number one and the most important rule is to be fair. It is great if you can remember all the rules, but not even the best Dungeon Master can do that. So if you don't have the rulebook handy by your side, then make something up. This is a game of imagination after all but make sure that it is fair. This general rule extends to the rest of the game. Drop hints before springing traps and describe how dangerous looking the monsters your players are going up against before they send themselves to their impending death. Some players have short attention span or not very good at getting the hints you drop. So the line between what is fair or not moves when you play with different groups. It also takes some experience to know where to draw the line. So this is something that you need to keep working on. Also known as the rule of cool, remember to entertain your players. Don't immediately say no if a player come up with a new use for a spell or attempt something that isn't covered by the rules. But remember rule 1. Be fair. Don't make them roll too many skill checks either. Because if you know anything about probability, having more than one skill check in succession can drastically drop the chance of succeeding at anything. Finally, stay consistent. As a DM, you need to be a reliable adjudicator of the rules. If you made a ruling, you have to live by it. It may be applicable to the rest of the campaign, but if you think you made a mistake, then wait until the end of the session before you rectify it. Unless of course, if your mistake kills a player or does something drastic enough that requires immediate correction. As part of being consistent, you need to be able to stand your ground and say no sometimes. When a player wants to keep rolling skill check on the same task until they succeed, that's when you say no. A few more pointers when you start a new campaign. It is very normal for players to drop in and out. Don't be discouraged or take it personally when that happens. Life and schedule conflict happens all the time. Some people may even realize that tabletop RPGs aren't their thing. It usually takes a few sessions with a few players coming in and out before a group becomes stable. There are even campaigns that are completed with none of the original players. Anyway, whether you end up loving Dungeons & Dragons or other tabletop role-playing games, I don't know. But these games offer an experience that can't be replicated any other way. 
So at least try it. You have nothing to lose. I wish you the best of fun for your game. Before I end the video, I have a few channel updates. I am being contracted to work with an animation studio, not as an animator, but an integral crew member nonetheless. Yeah, I'm getting paid! The downside is that I will have less time to work on the channel and output will slow down a bit for the next few months. But I am still aiming to upload a major video every two weeks, while I'm going to attempt uploading smaller videos like this one in between. I may miss a week here and there, but I'd rather upload a good quality video rather than a video that I myself am not satisfied with. Meanwhile, you can follow my Facebook and Twitter accounts for updates. If you're new here and want to see more DND contents, click subscribe and press the bell button for notifications on new videos. One more thing, I will be attending VidCon Australia as an attendee this weekend. If you're going there too and want to say hi, just look for a guy that looks like this with grey hoodie. Anyway, see you again when I see you. CJ over and out.